Oh, it's starting! And I'm not getting sound. There we go. Hey, Lofi Bell, it's Ice Code 54. And that's an entire hey, direct time. Bill hey, Bill. Here from Nintendo to What's up? Some new information about upcoming games. Name's Bill. I think you know all about our 2016 lineup. But Lord Master for all these secrets left to reveal about some games Wait, you may have heard of. We'll begin with Star Fox Zero. So let's kick it over to someone who can't wait for the very soon force news. Shigeru Miyamoto. Oh! Konnichiwa, minasan. Hi, everyone. I'm Miyamoto! Yes, Daddy Miyamoto. I'm here today in New York City. It's that guy's Daddy Sakura, I have Daddy Miyamoto. So it's very cold. I'm so I like sorry for keeping you waiting. Star Fox Zero is finally ready. We made this game to be an authentic action game, the kind I haven't worked on for a long time. Mm-hmm. Of course. It turned out to be the type of game where the more you practice, the more fun it gets. And the graphics look a lot better now. The plot Not and the game really structure matters. are similar to the Star Fox. That looks a lot like uh, Pikmin 3. But the story and that map structure here are completely interface there. This time, there are teleporters that appear in the game. The teleporters play an important role in the storyline and also have a big impact on the branching paths in the map. Now, I'd like to talk about a stage that we haven't right. shown yet. This is Fortuna. Ooh. It's packed with dangerous bioweapons and will prove pretty challenging. This so looks really enjoy cool. Enjoy going oh up against God. all new enemies. Some pretty giant ones, too. Looks like the stage looks like something out of a there crossover also between a lot of paths Monster on the maps. You can see this looks like the Corneria stage at Alternate first. Alternate path. Actually That's a always cool. The path on the right. When you take this path, it leads to a new level. If you go through here, you'll be confronted by a never before. Scene. That's awesome. This boss is also worth defeating, and once you win, you'll be taken back to the map where even more paths will open up. Just like that, Star Fox Zero is a game where once you defeat Venom in normal mode, many new and alternate paths will appear. Nice. As you explore these different paths, you'll encounter awesome. Star Wolf and his four-man team. They'll provide a really tough <laughs> challenge. Will they? The player can use the new target mode and various maneuvers and other new attack strategies to battle Star Wolf throughout the game. Big my bomb. All you are shooting for is Venom and Andros, but of course the game. I don't really have too much to say about this game. On the way, you'll realize that there are multiple paths available. I just hope they don't delay it again. <laughs> Please try it out for yourselves to see how many paths there are. Okay, Daddy Miyamoto. There's also a two-player mode. One player can fly the R-wing, while the other player aims and shoots. Is there online? You can play this way, cooperating with your friends, and aim for high scores, or you can Is get there together online? with your family and just have fun clearing each level. Now, no, but there's an Evo. So there's Fox Amiibo. <laughs> just so as yes, good. You can use it. With it, you'll be able to play with the R-wing from the classic Super. Please NES don't make like and there might even be Slippy and waiting for you. Peppy and Falco. Oh, Falco! Falco! I, thing, I want to talk to you about a new game. Some of you may remember that I showed a game two E3s ago that was called Project Guard. This game is now complete and is called Star Fox Guard. Oh. Slippy's uncle Grippy is busy with what? gathering rare metals. What is things, this? But is under Slippy's attack uncle Grippy. Enemies. Has he in been in a game, game before? You use Slippy's newly invented security system to ward off these enemies. I don't play the Star Fox game, so I wouldn't the know. The player but... uses 12 cameras, setting them up in various locations to find and attack the enemies to protect the mining site. Hmm. So it's like a strategy There style are thing. about 100 missions to play. Do but you that's place not the all. cameras? Or... You can also edit the placement of enemies, and then you can upload these them. enemy patterns online so others can play them. Too busy with grippy. You can play other players' creations, or have others play yours to earn precious metals. Precious metals, my precious. I hope you'll play Star Fox Guard with people from all around the world. So does that little game come with Star Fox Zero, or is it? Speaking of changing separate. cameras, let's switch it back over to Bill. <laughs> so Thanks, switching Bill. cameras. I'm happy to announce that hey, both games. Star Fox Zero and Star Fox Guard will come ah, packaged okay. together as a Makes set. Sense. Those who purchase the digital versions can buy them separately in Nintendo eShop or buy both games for the same total price as the package bundle. Okay. Star Fox Zero and Star Fox Guard both launch on April 22nd. April 22nd. 2016. Okay, they didn't change the release date. Good. It's about time you showed up, Fox. You're the only hope for our world. You know, 
There's another Wii U game. Oh, Splatoon! A number of updates, and I think it's fans who want in on a little secret. It ain't over yet for Splatoon. First, we'll be releasing an update that aims to balance some of the gear abilities and adjust various systems. When you're excited about a game that you don't have, for gear, these changes will improve some of the lesser used abilities to make them more appealing. Additionally, nice. we'll be making some changes to matchmaking and team assignments for ranked battle and adding a couple of elements knows to, we need that. to improve the overall user experience. This first update will be released next week on March 8th. The second update we have planned will pertain mostly to weapons in the game. Nice. In addition to adjusting some already existing weapons, we'll be adding new weapon set recommendations. These combinations will feature a selection of some of the most popular and appreciated <laughs> weapons chosen by the owner of Ammo Knights himself, Sheldon. We'll be dividing this update into two parts, and the first will be arriving in April. We'll also be releasing information about these updates on our website and via our official channels, so make sure to check it out. Next, a Wii U game you're all expecting that comes with some unexpected twists. Here's part of the opening movie in Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Okay. I was gonna say, are you are you announcing a Wii U Paper Mario? <laughs> the million year window. Alright, Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016. Alright, I can take this. Ah. Take that, Sonic fans. This is actually kind of cool. I mean, I'm not going to get the game, but... I'm, not, I'm also not uh, sure how many people are actually interested by this. I like the music track. Catchy. I've been playing a lot of Captain Toad recently. That game has a lot of good music too. And so does Paper Tan, which I have been playing a lot. Uh, I need to think of things to say just in case this is copyrighted. Fucking kick! There they are. Wait, Mario, think of our history. So, you like to go fast, huh? <laughs> A new event is making its debut in the Rio 2016 Olympic Games, Rugby Sevens. And it's Didn't they already talk about this? It's also a series first, as is Rhythmic Gymnastics Clubs. Not to mention, oh yeah, Tails doing gymnastics. Takes place in oh, the best of venues in Rio. Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games launches on Wii U June 24th. We'll keep you updated on the other hmm. events. A game of 2016 and its title more. actually releases in 2016. We'll to it's a miracle. A sec, but remember that you'll first get a chance to earn your place on the podium beside two gaming powerhouses when Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games launches on the Nintendo oh, 3DS okay. system March 18th. So it's going for both 3DS and Wii. Next, let's Super see. Mario Maker! All right, here we go. Finally, a game I have. It's been about six months since the game arrived on Wii U and players around the world continue to upload exciting new courses every day. Ooh. In fact, there are more Show than some of two levels. million courses for players to oh, jump into at million. this very moment. Since launch, we've added new course elements on two separate occasions. And here we go again. It's update time. Now, when you shake the yeah, you transform three? into a skewer from Super Mario World. Yes! Skewers! Oh, that is awesome! Even bigger pain. In a good way. <gasps> oh, that is. When you shake a P switch, it'll turn into a key. Plus, shaking a door, yes! will make it a key door. And yep. a key door, you oh! It. Can't open one of those without a key. Oh my Either god! Block or make Wait! An enemy hold one so you, you can, can make, make mazes one. like that? Oh! Without a key. Which means you can now make courses with mandatory boss battles. Oh, yeah. Nice! And if you shake a coin, it'll change into a pink coin. Collect them all, and a key will appear. That way, you can make a oh. where you have to find all the pink coins to win. These new course elements definitely expand your puzzle-making horizon. Still don't have star coins, but that is awesome. new elements to online play. The update will let you play 100 Mario Challenge on a new Super Expert. Super Expert? Oh no! Oh no! 
and it'll dish out a volley of six extremely tough levels for you to beat with 100. <laughs> no! It's gonna be all Panga levels and Kaizo levels. So even if you think you have them all, give this new mode a try and see if you can get them all. Additionally, the Super Mario Maker bookmark site will see additions such as ranking categories for world records Can we search by name? first clears on courses, inspiring new ways to create Can we search for game. by level name yet? This new update will be available for download on March 9th. I'm not sure if we can Sometimes, already, but... one of the best parts of an RPG is its style. And no one understands that quite like Atlas. Shin Megami Tensei Crossfire Emblem, nice okay. Wii U game. Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE is a brand new IP that takes inspiration from huh? Atlas's own titles and the Fire Emblem series. It's an energetic fusion of the deep RPG gameplay you'd expect. Oh, it actually has an official game, name now, okay. And the adrenaline fueled fun of a huge pop idol concert. So it's a new Every IP. Every inch oozes style from the in game music videos and commercials to the hot oh, new tracks from Apex, that's weird. the company behind some of in -game the game stars in Japan. And speaking of, the game is based in they Japan, do that. They better so we're keeping have, uh, its original VO. You better have like actual merch with the game. Titles. You might as well sell okay. toys along with the game too. Is that a Metagross in the background? <laughs> that looks like that looks like a Metagross. A shiny Metagross. Daring enough to try something new? Look no further. Your summer is now complete. Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Sharp Tokyo FD, Mirage Red Sessions. Side, June twenty fourth. Okay. June 24th. Oh you may remember that. Hey, next it's June 24th. That's a five year anniversary of me getting my YouTube account. Lost Reavers <laughs> is Bandai Namco's latest free to play online co op action game. Wait, what's this game called? Team other adventurers online to fight zombies and solve puzzles as Looks you cool. search for valuable treasure in the most diverse locations on the planet. You'll need the wits to solve puzzles, right. the expertise to kill bosses, <laughs> and the firepower to fight legions of undead guardians. Acquire treasure and successfully make your way back to complete the mission. And it kind of looks like a slasher version of Metroid. As you go on missions, characters will level up, unlock more skills, and increase I hope they call the funds out the Metroid so again. new weapons. If they do uh, release news on Federation Force, puzzles, which I do want just for that reason, <laughs> to prevent the call of the Metroid. You can look forward to playing Lost Reavers in Lost the Reavers, beta version okay. coming soon to Wii U. Open beta. Oh, they're doing Next, an open beta. Let's paint the town red, and just about every other color. In the Paper Mario series, we always challenge ourselves to bring something fresh to the action adventure genre. And this time, in Paper Mario Color Splash, the theme is colors and paint. As ah. such, the game takes place in a colorful paradise called Prism Island. Oh, the Paper Mario but fans are not going to be happy Island. about this. Prism Island is being drained of its color. To make sense of all this, it's up to Paper Mario to do like he does and set off on a journey to bring color back lag to the land. And his new paint hammer is just the ticket. Paint hammer? It splashes paint on anything he hits, restoring the island's color bit by bit. Oh, so it's Paper Mario cross Super Mario Sunshine. The poor guys. A splash of color will even liven up a toad house. In battle, you'll paint cards like this and then flick them to start the battle. Hold on a second. There are special cards, too. They'll unleash some satisfying and powerful attacks. The latest entry in this beloved series... I was series, seeing it there, Paper people Mario getting Mario angry already. It's planned for release in 2016. Oh, a new Paper Mario Pikachu, game. That is Lucario, amazing. Lucario, Machamp, Gengar, and many more of your favorite Pokemon are about to face off in Pokken Tournament for Wii. Yep. Doesn't that come out Apparently, tomorrow? Players will start at the bottom tier, facing off against relatively easy opponents. Tears are for queers. But as you move <laughs> up in the ranks, you'll encounter skilled opponents worthy of the bottom absolute tier. best. It's Winning called a rank like every other online game. In game currency that allows you to change the appearance of your Paper avatar. Mario Color Splash. Everyone is going to be angry about that except for me. <laughs> Some Pokemon are fast and can use their speed to rush in <clears> and deal damage. Because that looks Pokemon like a game just like Sticker Star. Power to dominate the competition. Each main battle Pokemon and only people who like Sicker Star can probably change the like way you splash. approach the fight. So find your favorite combination to suit your playstyle. To help you determine oh, which Pokemon Mario you should try first, not gonna be happy there's a few about highlights that. of not main at all. battle Pokemon. Lucario uses powerful aura-based attacks to create attacking projectiles from far away. Mm -hmm. After activating first attack mode, Lucario can unleash a massive beam of aura Ooh, energy to get back into the battle or to finish it off. 
This is awesome. I really want to get this game, but Machamp I spent all my money at MacFest. <laughs> strength by a rapid fire punches, damaging throws, and more to send opponents reeling. This Pokemon is a real heavy hitter and a force to be reckoned with when up close and personal. Last but not Turn to the land well, this is inconvenient. My camera just ran out of battery. Time. I probably should have prepared this better. I'm still going to react to it while I put this Legend on a Zelda tripod. Ultimate. Oh, Twilight is Princess HD? God damn it. The fourth and final episode will fill you in on all the new features in the Wii U version when it launches tomorrow alongside the game. March is also a big month for Nintendo da, 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 da. This is so awkward. Because this month right. also sees the introduction of Nintendo's Come on. new loyalty program. Ooh, new loyalty program. There we go. Nice. Oh god, the frame rate on this is so crappy. Ugh. You can pre-register for an there we go. smart device app, Mitomo, and sign up for a Nintendo I am the best at improvising. My Nintendo member nice. Starts earning my Nintendo All right, let's make sure this camera still Stay works. tuned for more details to come. <laughs> you know, there's another thing you can look forward to in March, and it involves Amiibo. Oh, in yeah, March, Amiibo! Friends, the Amiibo Challenge is a let's special go. treat for all you Amiibo lovers. All right, we're good. In this free download for Wii U and nice. Nintendo free 3DS, down. You That's can good. tap compatible amiibo figures to guide one I'm or really mini sorry characters to specific so levels that they alone can access. Each mini has their own powers, too, like Mini Mario. Oh, this looks like uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. There are some other really neat powers as well. I wasn't paying attention. I'm just making sure my camera's still working. This game will be available for early access at participating I like the music. Stage, beginning March 25th Damn. with the purchase of any Nintendo amiibo figure. Will also be available to download nice. for free from Nintendo eShop on Wii U and Nintendo 3DS beginning April 28th. So far, what stood out to me is the in other Amiibo Super Mario Maker series four of the Animal updates, Crossing Amiibo cards uh, are on the way. And this Paper Mario year. Color Splash. Also, keep an eye out for the Isabelle Amiibo figure, the, which will be available. Paper Mario Color Splash. Separate from the Animal I'll Crossing. I'll bet everything amiibo I got, they're going to show that at E3 as well. And she'll be accompanied by another amiibo figure, this time sporting her summer outfit. Huh. Now let's take a look at what else is new in Nintendo eShop for Nintendo 3DS. Virtual Console is about to receive an upgrade exclusively on new Nintendo 3DS systems. We'll begin releasing... Two new maps will be released at the in-game DLC shop. Dragon's Recording Day. stopped due to slow memory card. You can acquire rare weapons oh, on yeah. the map using Oh yeah, that's a time for that to happen. This video on March 17th, mess. the map Royal Royale will be released. The Royal Royale? This map, oh, a, the siblings of both kingdoms will have to spar to determine who among them is worthy of the task to save an alternate version of Corrin from another world. Alternate Each map of Corrin. Is, is he from Smash Brothers? Price you see on Did he screen. leave because everyone hates him? Map pack one, and then he shouldn't be in Super Smash team. Brothers? And keep and an eye on any other more DLC maps. Could be in there and be better? Until April 21st. March onward, my heroic friends. The battle I would legitimately take here. Goku over Corrin. Three weeks from today, Hyrule Warriors Legends will declare war on Nintendo ah, DS Fire, systems. Ah, Hyrule Warriors the Legends. The fans of the Wii U version already know the game will pit you as one of your favorite Zelda characters against a near I was gonna say, is that footage from the 3DS version? Dongos and the like. You can even battle as the 3DS characters version from The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, and the brand new character... It just takes out the boat and sails Fans it over the Wii ...were dedicated to finishing the fight and enjoyed the amount of additional content that was offered. And so, I'm pleased to announce that Hyrule Warriors Legends will also have some new downloadable content available in 2016. Of course! Beginning on launch day, oh my you can God! Nintendo's season doing season passes. Which will give you access to four brand new DLC packs. If you buy the season pass, you'll get an exclusive bonus costume for Ganondorf, available on launch day only in Hyrule Warriors Legends. How awesome costume is that? These packs Weird. will also be available for purchase individually. On launch day, anyone in the U.S. who picks up a physical copy of Hyrule Warriors Legends will receive a download code for a free Nintendo 3DS Hyrule Warriors Legends theme. And a transfer code will allow purchasers ah, who own the Wii U version of the game to
to download Ooh. and play as the five new characters and use Ganondorf's trident nice. weapon from Hyrule Warriors Legends in the original Hyrule Warriors on Wii U. Very nice. And finally, if you pre-order the game at GameStop in the U.S., you'll also oh, receive yeah, GameStop special bonuses. edition softcover 16-page character art book. With it, you can learn more about key characters and view concept art of various warriors and weapons, including the new hero Linkle and her mysterious compass. There's another new character flying our way, and she'll be available to download for free in both Hyrule Warriors Legends and Hyrule Warriors on Wii U. This is a new character. Medley is her name, and The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker was her first game. Now, she and her harp oh. are ready for battle. You can nice add Medley to your there, roster as a free download launching alongside the release of the first DLC. So I guess Reggie's not going to be in this? Charge into battle when Hyrule Warriors Legends releases Reggie's on Nintendo 3DS direct, huh? March 25th. All right. Next, let's brush up on our art skills with true masters of the craft. Disney Art Academy is a fun <laughs> game that will teach you what? how to draw popular what Disney and Pixar characters. Lessons feature a wide range of characters, and your instructor okay. will teach you how to draw them step by step. Draw All right, lines, now I really hope this music in, isn't copyrighted. Add shadows and highlights as you're instructed, and voila. All right. Anyone can create beautiful illustrations of Disney and this Pixar characters like This actually looks like, like kind of... Well, it looks pretty With the wave of the magic brush, you Not can bad. give your masterpiece a touch of stars. But, uh... Glitter, clouds, considering and that a lot of my friends have said no studio for a yes. variety of characters, this is from really Mickey Mouse necessary. and Winnie the Pooh, to beloved they did a horrible job get, getting to people to flip up Studio 3DS. Though. Yes, it's only the club Nintendo Disney's members, friend. and it's only one code. Plus, you'll learn a variety of art styles depending on the illustrations you're drawing. So hone your skills Interesting, and like, have some fun when Disney Art there. Academy launches on Nintendo 3DS what? May 13th. 13. The original Bravely Default gave thousands of RPG fans exactly what they were looking for. Bravely a big third? part of that was the exciting jobs your characters could take on to learn powerful abilities. Bravely third. Across the world, Extra layer. there are dozens of jobs that each bring different strengths to the table. As for today, I thought I'd spotlight a couple of the jobs that are new to the sequel. Bravely second end layer, which is oh, fast approaching. This this game didn't come may out sound yet. like standard <laughs> RPG fare. Well, that ruins my joke. The wizard is anything but. Damn. Wizards use spellcraft to customize spells with added effects like hammer and mist. For a powerful strategy, try combining this with the elemental spells of right. black and red mages, or the healing spells of white mages. And then, there's the Catmancer. They learn the moves of the monsters you encounter, and then train cats to perform them in exchange for treats. Seems One legit. way to test out some of the new jobs is with the upcoming Bravely Second demo. The demo story ah, revolves around like three the, cavaliers the same thing they did in the lead first band one. of Crystal Guard Knights that are holiness, Agnes Oblige, has uh, dispatched to look into disturbances that have been popping up. There is an exclusive demo. This where, side uh, story can only be experienced in this free demo in the demo, that yep. launches in Nintendo eShop Just like on the March first one. 10th. Best Buy Gamers Club Unlocked members will all get yeah, Best Buy bonuses code to access the demo early. Exclusive on store bonuses. Playing the demo always good. You play bonuses you can transfer into the full version of the game when it becomes available for purchase. And if you're so inclined, you can pre-purchase the game for Nintendo 3DS also on March 10th in the Nintendo eShop. And bad. right now, there's another great way to get a taste for this series. The free demo for the original he seems pretty happy about is this. still available in Nintendo eShop. When you're ready to jump into the sequel, there's also a collector's edition of Bravely Second End Layer that will include ah. the game, a soundtrack CD, and this. I'm all into the soundtrack CDs. I wish they did that for, uh, uh, It'll give like you a Dream bigger, Team or better look at the series' memorable characters, landscapes, monsters, and much, much more. If you want to learn about this new entry in the franchise, Stay tuned to our YouTube channel this month for our new Bravely Second End Layer video series. Bravely Second End Layer launches exclusively on Nintendo 3DS systems April 15th. April 15th. Another massive RPG is headed YouTube to Nintendo 3DS, and it's one fans have been clamoring for. Is it? Dragon Quest VII, ah, Fragments yes. of the Forgotten Past, has I've been seen completely remade for Nintendo 3DS. To, um, it's essentially a brand trailer? new game. The uh, world has well, been rebuilt, the characters when have new 3D models, last the story has been completely re-translated. few of them You play as Oster, the young son of a famous fisherman who wants more from his life than fishing. And trust me, he's gonna get it. 
he sets off on an adventure with the mischievous Prince Kiefer and a clever, headstrong girl Interesting named Maribel. Way to pronounce mischievous. Using a fragment detector, the trio search the world for fragments of stone tablets. This looks After a lot like Zelda. After putting the tablets together again, they warp to the past in order to save the present. Oh, yeah. Along the way, they'll travel. engage in classic turn-based combat in time. Let's go. and gain access to more than 30 classes with powerful abilities. With art by Akira Toriyama and the pedigree of the Dragon Quest series, this Probably is gonna have to pure look up to see what RPG other games done. <laughs> Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past, launches on Nintendo 3DS Are you gonna mention later the this game? year. In Japan, there's a game known as Monster Hunter Cross, the latest game in the Monster Hunter series. And now it's coming west as Monster Hunter Generations. Ah. With the new style system and hunter arts, this is the most customizable Monster Hunter experience ever. This music sounds really, really good. This debut trailer. And it's also probably copyrighted, so. Oh, this music. Oh, this music. Done, done. Dun, 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 Whoa! I mean, what what else could I have thought of when I saw that flying shit? Putting Bowser should have been on there. <laughs> you know, he appears. The festival's over. I really need to do more of my Super Mario Galaxy walkthrough. Screams like shaking. Alright. I wonder what they're gonna end on. What are they gonna end on? We'll have more to say about the game in the future, but for now, a quick shout out. Anyone who plays Monster Hunter Generations on a Nintendo 3DS with Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate save data present on it will receive bonus content in the new game. They usually end on promotion, pretty Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate is being offered at a special price of $19.99 in Nintendo eShop for 48 hours, starting today at 3 p.m. Pacific Time. It's a great game and a great reason to get hyped for the next one. Here's another. I'm happy to announce that Monster Hunter Generations will feature a special uh, collaboration Fire armor characters. based on Marth from the Fire Emblem series. To see the full-length trailer of this collaboration, Head Does it require the amiibo? I'll bet you it the amiibo. Monster Hunter Generations will be available on the Nintendo 3DS in summer 2016. I don't remember how long this story At E3, so. there was one game we introduced that left fans with some questions. <laughs> Today, Kensuke Tanabe, the producer of the Metroid Prime series, is here to help you understand how Metroid Prime <laughs> yes. has become an integral part of the Metroid Prime universe. Tanabe-san? That's basically his way of saying... Hello everyone, I'm Kensuke Tanabe. I started from the GameCube version. So it's been about 15 years since I first began the producer of the Metroid Prime series. Nice. Today, I want to introduce you to the newest installment in the Metroid Prime series, Metroid Prime Federation Force. <laughs> Being a new title in a series we deeply love, as the development team, we approach it with great passion and effort. Yeah, see? All right. The development on this game started in 2009. At that time, For real? we started with the idea of developing a new online multiplayer focused Metroid Prime title for a handheld system. Which, in theory, sounds pretty good. Online multiplayer, handheld, early experiments with next level games. collaboration with our reliable partners at Next Level Games. What does the chat have to say? With with I'm seeing lots of dance games. games here. And on Punch Out, <laughs> the what we face? kicked off official development of them. But at that point, we were Super working on the Nintendo DSi. And with the DSi, duh. it became clear that we wouldn't be able to achieve the type of performance fans would expect. When we saw the new Nintendo 3DS a few years later, the, for one thing, the we knew this. that the Nintendo 3DS would address our performance it, issues. And we were also excited about the expanded control options provided by the C-Stick. Mm -hmm. At that point, we decided to restart the project. We wanted to use this new game to tell the story of the battle between the Galactic Federation and the Space Pirates. Okay. I had always imagined battles between these two within the universe, but we had never really explored that in the previous games. 
Makes sense. I've been wanting to do it for over 10 years, so I was ready and excited over to try. Over 10 years, huh? But, given the focus on the Galactic Federation and space pirate battle, while Samus would appear in the story, it meant that she couldn't be the main player character this time. Oh! Blasphemy! So, using the Galactic Federation soldiers as the main characters was the natural course of action for this game. Another theme we wanted to add to the game system was the idea, like an RPG, of players having the ability to choose their own distinct roles in the game. Like okay. a healer, a warrior, a mage, and so on. You receive certain types of sub-weapons from the Federation in each mission, and players must divide them among themselves based on For a second I thought that said freeze snot. That would make very so, interesting. So, for example, right? if you carry a lot of repair capsules, then that player becomes a This legitimately player. looks pretty cool. And if you take on all the missiles, then you become a warrior. I would love to explain more about that aspect today, about the character's art style, or why we created Blast Ball, and so on. Oh, Blast but Ball, that's right. Let's save that for another time. What I can say for sure is the Metroid Prime Federation Force is a game that absolutely belongs in the Metroid universe. Ha ha! I promise. Ha ha! Please take a look at this video. It does belong! Take that! As Aaron's solitary war on the space pirates terminated their phase on experiments on Metroids. But the galaxy is not at peace. Recognizing a need to combat the space pirate menace, the Galactic Federation launched Project Golem. A top secret program to develop mechanized top battle secret armor rock and ground type technology program. in Samus Aaron's power suit. The most elite members of the Galactic Marines were chosen and put through intense training to form what would become. And the were they injected with bird DNA? And were their parents killed by Ridley? Their first mission is to survey the three planet Bermuda system and reclaim an abandoned Federation outpost on the resource-rich planet Excelsior, which was devastated by a meteor crash 20 years ago, plunging it okay. into an ice age. Not sure how a meteor would plunge a planet into an ice age. Maybe if the uh, smoke blocks the sun. Would that cause enough volcanoes? All that's doing the way were meteor <laughs> ice hoppers. But then the team came face to face with a well-known threat they weren't expecting. Not exactly a fan of this narrator, but okay. Now the only way okay. to survive is to work we, as these a are the Federation troops, and they are fighting. And to take down the space pirates against all odds. Against all odds. This doesn't look bad. Yet. People are just afraid to change. Stay tuned for more information on this next chapter in the Metroid Prime universe. We'll also be hosting several hands-on opportunities, starting with WonderCon in uh. late March. So I hope you'll try the game out for yourself. Metroid Prime Federation Force releases on Nintendo 3DS systems late spring If that's what they end off on, I'm gonna laugh. Next, I'd like to announce a game that combines some great selections from some great games. Rhythm Heaven on Nintendo DS. Rhythm Heaven on Rhythm Heaven DS. Fever on Wii, and more. Introducing Rhythm Heaven Megamix, which will be Megamix? coming to North America this year. Rhythm Heaven Megamix on Nintendo 3DS offers more than 100 <laughs> rhythm games, 70 of which have been carefully selected from previous titles in the series, including the original Game Boy Advance game, which was never released in North America. Oh! There are also 30 brand new rhythm games. So replay a classic or tap into a new one when Rhythm's Heaven Mega Mix launches later this year. Now, let's take a look at one last game. One last. It has a lot of my coworkers tickled pink. Kirby's headed back to the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. Huh. This time, Invader is in another game that sounds like an order on a fast food restaurant. To restore his home to its original form, Kirby must rise up. At first, the game may look familiar. The pink pup will travel through stages by jumping back and forth Kirby, between the four. Kirby, Twat, Quadruple Deluxe using Pro. 25 copy abilities. Of course, there will be new copy abilities. But here's the kicker: in this game, Kirby will use his new enemy's tech against them. Oh. 
His robobot armor is extremely strong. <laughs> that looks awesome. He can actually destroy obstacles that stand in Kirby's way. And taking a page from Kirby himself, looks like uh, the, the Mechophiles from Bowser's Inside Story. And use powerful modified versions of them called modes. The robobot armor can use more than 10 modes. Okay. No matter what, Kirby and his robobot armor can deliver two types of actions. This has been a surprisingly diverse Nintendo There's game. also a separate mode included in this They've game. They've covered like almost Kirby every video Flash. game series. It lets up to four players join forces to battle against powerful bosses. They didn't mention a Zelda game like for Wii U, though. Roles and participate in that's, a that's kind of disappointing. To defeat a boss. Supporting your team by utilizing no the Zelda Wii U abilities is the key to victory. While you play, you'll find you get a lot of other stuff. And if you collect them all, your team can activate a powerful what team that meteor that Paper Mario major damage. Color Splash? For the first time in a Kirby game, when you complete a quest, you can blast maybe? And as you level up, your abilities will and then a Super Mario power. Maker update. That way, you can take on more difficult quests. Team Kirby Clash is available for download play as well, so you can play with friends who don't have the game yet, or you can play alone with sidekicks. In addition, this title is compatible with Amiibo. Tap them to give Kirby copy abilities um, in the game. Oh, Amiibo copy abilities. Some That's Amiibo will even give you character-specific abilities. For instance, tapping the Mario Amiibo will give you the fire ability. Oh, uh, okay. Makes sense. And tapping the Link Amiibo will give you the sword ability. Ah, uh, nice. In fact, if you tap any Amiibo, something is sure to happen. So try it out sometime. Alongside Kirby yeah, Fire Emblem character Amiibo. Amiibo, we're launching a new line of Kirby series Amiibo, including Kirby, of course, Meta Knight, King DDD, and the irreplaceable Waddle Dee. Nice. When you tap any Waddle of these Amiibo. Kirby series Amiibo, Kirby will receive a copy ability, but he'll also get a costume unique to each figure. Not to nice. mention, the Kirby figure grants him a power you can only get in this game with Amiibo the UFO ability. The UFO? Whoa, Kirby that's was pretty such sick. A tech guru. Kirby Planet Robobot will mechanize your game. Should have called it like the June warp 10. ship or something. Thanks for tuning in to this Nintendo Direct. But we have more to reveal. We'll let you know. See you next time. All right. So there's probably got to be like one more Direct until E3. All right. Not bad. Not bad Direct. Not too much that appealed to me. Probably not too much that appealed to everyone. But that was pretty good. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it like a man, and I'll be, I'll be glad, and I'll be grateful. Nice Super Mario Maker update. What was that Paper Mario game called again? Color Blast. Color Splash. Let me look it up. Is it Paper Mario Color Blast or Color Splash? I'm gonna guess it's Color Blast. Is it Color Blast? Maybe it's Color Splash then. I don't know. Don't blame me. Just saw the first trail. Okay, it's, it is Color Splash. Nice. My god, everyone is so salty in the chat right now. The only thing I'm really disappointed about is that we didn't get to see Reggie at all. Probably see him a lot at E3, though. Well, that was the Nintendo Direct of March 3rd, 2016. Now, above all, <laughs> I hope Jet Dragon enjoyed this Nintendo Direct because it's her birthday today. So... I hope she found something that uh, she'll take out of this and enjoy. Okay. <laughs> nice little fade there with the the Nintendo Direct screen. On, on Twitch it like faded for some reason. Just trolling all the people who got salty about this. Eh, whatever. Not a bad Direct. I'll let it, go. I'll let it slide. Keep looking forward, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.